Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. The overall Cardano chart hasn't really changed since the last video. I just have to make one small adaption or adjustment to the overall wave count. But overall here, it is still the view at the moment, yeah, until ADA proves something more bullish, that we will make um, here another low. That is absolutely possible. Remember, um, I think it was a few weeks ago when we talked about this Elliott wave triangle that broke to the downside. That was at the time expected. We did expect a move to the downside here based on this triangle. Um, we had actually, just purely based on the triangle, a target of around 15 cent, which is, or at the time seemed unrealistic given the latest developments and the overall chart structure, it is certainly possible. Um, but we also need to be aware that various interpretations here are possible. So, and, and they are all sort of, I would say, oh, they're all possible, right? They're all possible. The thing is that ADA made a new low, and that's always when we then need to be on a lookout for bullish wave patterns, because any low could be the last one. And if we make new lows, ADA, or generally the chart, the market, has a chance to create a new foundation to new all-time highs. Now, this here, as you will remember, wasn't very convincing. I gave it a chance, but it failed. But this was not a very convincing pattern. We always try to find patterns which look really good, um, here this move up does look corrective at the moment, so it's not really a strong evidence yet that we have bottomed. We could have, but then because there is not really, we can't really put much confidence into this pattern here, which has moved up since the low of 31 cents. Um, we want to see more evidence. We want to see five waves to the upside and we want to see an important level break. So at the moment, the view is here and um, that we are in this five wave pattern to the downside still. And the, the idea is that what we're currently doing um, is probably a one, two setup. And we would come down next in a wave three of three, and then there will be a four of three and a five of three to finish off this white wave three. And then there will be a wave four up and a wave five down. Um, this is for me, one of the most likely patterns. However, in this pattern, in this pattern, we should not move above one important level that I'm going to tell you. So we should not move above the 41.1 cent level. Um, so that means in this wave two, so if we consider this another one, two setup here, in this wave two, we should stay below that level because it's a 78.6% retrace. And that is the level that normally a wave two wouldn't break. Yeah, of course they can for a short period, but generally when it's breaking that for a longer period, it's not valid anymore. Um, well, it's valid, but it's unlikely to play out. So this is the key level that I'm watching out for. That means short term upside is still expected based on this pattern at WXY. Um, and then this is sort of the area here around the 41 cent level that will be a key decision point. Because it's again, it's a 78.6% Fibonacci retracement. And if we get above that level, we have to consider something more bullish. And I would then probably have to count it as some kind of an impulse. Yeah. At the moment, this to me looks very corrective. What's currently moving up here, but the move down, oops, but the move down looks also corrective. So what does that leave us? That leaves us um, a possible larger corrective pattern that's playing out here in a W X Y scenario. So that is exactly what we talked about in the previous video, but um, I just had to move the wave X down. That is the, um, well, that's possible because this move down still has a corrective, let's say appearance, yeah. Um, three waves up to the downside here, you could say, okay, I can count one, two, three, four, five. The problem though, is that we have a lot of overlaps here and that makes the corrective, all, all of these waves have overlapped and that creates this, this sort of corrective appearance and that makes it quite likely to see another push in, the wave Y to the upside. And again, this would be constrained by 41 cents. And if we get above that, we have to consider something more bullish. However, on the flip side, if we now, I mean, a move below the wave B would already be quite a good indication. We're actually coming down lower and the support is not going to hold. But generally, if we look at the FIPS from that way around, um, it could theoretically come down to 32.4 cents. So next support is 33 and a half yeah, and 32.4. So we had a, a support here now, right now at 34.3. That is the 50% retracement that did hold so far. And then we have the 33 and a half cent level and the 32.4.
at the latest at the 32.4 it should turn around otherwise it's probably not going to hold and we have an impulse to the downside um this wave y as i said target 41 cents and then we have an idea of where it's heading yeah and that's my update about ada generally the view is still down but probably with some short-term upside first and then down and if we break above 41 we have to consider something more bullish Okay, and that's my update about ADA. Generally, um, I try to promote here the more crypto online staking pool a little bit. So we now have our own um, ADA stake pool. You can delegate to that stake pool to earn passive ADA. At the moment, it's not generating rewards yet. It was only launched yesterday. So it needs typically a few weeks to, to get enough ADA delegated so it generates rewards. If you're interested and well, if you want to support more crypto online, you can delegate to that pool. Um, in the video description, there are two videos on how to delegate ADA to um, a staking pool and also how to delegate ADA specifically to the MCO pool. As I said, no rewards yet until we get enough ADA in. That will typically be the case after a few weeks, I would say. Um, we've nearly, we're nearly there at 100K. Maybe we already have uh, the 100,000 ADA delegated tomorrow. Um, let's see, but it's going up every day now. So yeah, it's very exciting. Looking forward to uh, supporting the ADA or the Cardano network. And if you want to support the MCO, generally the MCO channel and the MCO stake pool, take a look at the um, take a look at the staking pool and the videos in the description. And probably in a few weeks, we are going to generate rewards for you as well. Okay, and that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.